Production Center Ansar Armanim presents Speaking of your disease, I'm afraid it has progressed too far. Doctor, let's get to the point. I know what this disease is. Do you think if you tell me the truth, I'll die? It's... Pancreatic diabetes. Pancreatic diabetes. I have to tell you. It's one of the incurable and dangerous diseases of our time. Doctor, I got it, I have to go, I'm off. Wait, sir, you need to recover. You should get some therapy. What is he talking about? I don't have time to think about it. I need to get my grandson married as soon as possible. Alim Gazi Rain Birkov. Magical Tibetica. Film Kusman Shalabayev. these sweets. They're goodies from the wedding. May all of you be happy. Thank you. Thank you. Give me some too. Oh, thank you. Here, take one. Take some, Grandpa. song? What song is that? About love. Who sings it like that? You just trash such a beautiful song. It should be sung like this. Listen. Stop it, I'll sing it my way. Guys, please stop it. You're splitting my head with the song. You're acting like children. Don't you like my singing? No, I don't like it. Stop it. I got this sheep for the song. Get lost with your sheep. Yes, a whole sheep. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Grandfather, are you coming from the city? How are you feeling? I'm all right, thank you. Okay. Eggs. It's because of the terrible road, sorry. It's not about the road, but about the bus. Not only the eggs could have been broken, but you're back. <laughs> hey, you, what's so funny? Hey, driver. Hey, driver. 
What, what? What's the matter? Give us a clean rag, please. Why are you driving so fast? Look, this guy's all dirty because of you. <laughs> okay. I see. Here. Here's a napkin. Driver, it doesn't look like a napkin. Do you still have some oil remained in the bus engine, or was it absorbed by this napkin? No, he sold the oil and bought glasses. <laughs> Give me a rag you use for cleaning the windows. Here, I use this for cleaning the panel and wiping the steering wheel. Here, take it. Where did you get that? Are you sure it's clean? Why does it matter if it's clean or not? Wipe your clothes. The whole bus is stinky. Why did you buy those eggs in the city? Are there no hens in the village? Hey, those are underwear. <laughs> Dear friends, we're coming from a wedding. It was a great celebration. Let's sing a song about us. Come on. Yerza, darling, get the bags and take them inside. I'll be right back. Is everything okay? It's all right, thank you. What happened to you? Everything's fine, Granny. I've just come from the city by bus. Our grandpa went to the city as well. He said he would come back today. Have you seen him? Yes, I have. He's all right. We came here together. That's why I rushed right out. I ran into the house, dropped my bags, and came here immediately. I don't get it. Let's go inside. Calm down and tell me everything. What happened? I was going to tell you, well, I was rushing to get here faster than Grandpa, and I lost my breath. We arrived from the city by bus together with Oraza's son and Auntie Kulan. You know, some of the guests were drunk. So it was a hustle and bustle in the bus. Stop, darling, wait a minute. Tell me, did our Grandpa come back? Well, I came here to tell you something. Granny, our Grandpa is very angry. He was so gloomy when we met in the bus. children doing? Is everyone all right? How are they doing? You look sad. What happened? Stop frowning. Look at me. Tell me what happened. What's wrong with all of you? 
You're so mysterious, and I'm here, worrying. Stop it, please. What should I stop? Tell me how Ansar's study's going. How is he doing? Does he have enough of everything? I guess you didn't take enough money for them. Not enough, probably. I hope his brother and daughter-in-law will help him. Although... They themselves are full of worries. You know, they're young. They're always busy at work. It's like they rule the whole country. Our neighbor, Shinar, went to call your brother and his wife. Now wash your face, calm down and stop frowning, and we'll have a dinner. You're going home late today. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry. You need a good boyfriend, I suppose. You're just talking like my parents. Okay, bye. See you. Well, I'm a good guy. Did you say something? Oh, no, I, I said that the weather is good. Yeah, you're right. The weather is good. <laughs> Nonsense. I blurted it out like a little kid. Let me through. What's wrong with her? Has she lost it? Hello. I'm glad to see you, Takia. Hello. Hello. How was your trip? How are you? Hello, Grandpa. How are the kids doing? Daughter, it's good that you came. Make some tea, please. I also came from the city today with my grandfather. As I already said, Auntie Kulan came from the wedding. Oh, the bus was overloaded. Everyone was singing, screaming. It was so noisy that Grandpa got a little uncomfortable. I asked him to stop clowning around. It's not easy for Grandpa to endure such a situation. But they continued to chatter. Takia was tired on the way, probably. Are the children all right? How are they? Granny, is he all right? He's all right. Your brother comes back frustrated every time he goes to the kids. You know him well. He takes offense at the son and his wife. He says that they don't care about our grandson, although we raised him. He didn't really understand a thing. I see. Takea, how are the kids doing? Are they all right? Don't ask anything. Neither the son nor the daughter-in-law. Don't think about our grandson. And what else should they think about? They really respect you. They gave us their firstborn at your request. Thank God we raised him. And Ansar, as always, busy studying, just as you were rushing with your candidate degree. And now, Ansar is obtaining his master's degree. Well, not all turns out right at once. Yeah, Granny is right. Ansar is still young. After getting his master's degree, he'll start his way to doctor. Oh, you'll see. God willing, our Ansar will become a boss. Hey, Shinar, what are you talking about? I'm not against his study. 
his job. I'm just against him being single. We want to see our great grandchildren. Should he be alone forever? Kazakhs used to get married at 13, and he is almost 30. We want to see his wedding with his grandmother. We want to sit next to the bride's parents. We want to nurse the great-grandchildren for a while. What are you talking about, daughter? Uh-huh. You should have told her that. I'm thinking, what's wrong with you? So you want to marry our Ansar in the heat of the summer, don't you? Do you want to force him? No. Let the fruit ripen and cattle gain weight. Then we will solve this task in autumn. Why should we think of it now? Granny is right, and I'll find a bride for him. Many young interns will come to our school soon. There are also girls among my relatives who will be a good wife for Ansar. Hey, Shanar, what are you talking about? We don't need your girls and relatives. There's no time to wait. I'm already one foot in the grave. Ansar will choose his own wife and make his choice. That's it. Are you already going to die? So I'm already old and time flies so quickly. We have to get Ansar married as soon as possible and nurse our great-grandchildren for a while. You're right. Of course, that's right. You help so many relatives and friends. I think we really can organize our Ansar's wedding together, huh? You'll be the master of ceremonies. <laughs> Son, Grandpa's calling. He wants to talk to you. Hello. Grandpa. Good morning. No, no, you, you didn't wake me up. Grandpa, what are you talking about? What did I promise? Grandpa, are you talking about this? Yes, even a day hasn't passed. And you're already hurrying. Soon. I told you. Grandpa, you'll see her when I bring her. Everything will be fine. I'll bring her. I promised you, so I'll do it. It's my fault. Who forced me to promise after all? 
My Ansar, my lion, I dream of his wedding. My Ansar, my lion, I dream of his wedding. My Ansar, my lion, I dream of his wedding. Hello, brother. Hello. How are you? How are you feeling? Ansar called me in the morning. Very good. He said, Grandpa, I'll bring a beautiful bride from Almaty. Oh, I'm very glad to hear that. I'm very happy for you. So now we'll have a wedding that everyone would envy. Well, I have to give fresh hay and water to the cattle and feed all the animals. Wait a minute. Shall we go together? Yeah, let's go, let's go. Oh, Takir. If Ansar brings the bride, then we'll have a wedding. We'll kill the white mare. God willing. Go ahead. And how are you? You're feeling good, I see. Ansar told me the joyful news. That's why I'm so happy. Thank God. Oh, life is good. God willing, everything will be all right. He said, you must get married. It doesn't matter how. <laughs> You don't have a girlfriend, not to talk about a bride. You're right. And what are you going to do? I can't fulfill his request right now. You know, I have to defend my thesis. I don't have time. Got it. I don't know what to do. Maybe we'll get together in the evening and think it over. idea. Let's try. Let's do it. Of course. my brother's car. It's no big deal. Is your brother's car the same? Yeah, the same color too. Maybe I can uh, give you a ride? No, thanks. Oh, here's my brother. Sorry once again. Goodbye. Goodbye. son from school, then Damit Kien asked me to buy food. Besides, there is terrible traffic. Sangar. Children, food, and now a new excuse about traffic. Nothing more you could come up with? Okay, forget it. Ansar, tell me. Why are we here? Here is a deal. You know my grandfather. He is forcing me to get married as soon as possible. Oh, that's great. We'll celebrate the wedding. Celebrating is all you want, right? I don't want to get married at all. You have to get married. Family is happiness. Clothes are always washed, food is prepared. Zangar, 
Look at yourself. You always don't have enough money. You always look tired. Guys, listen, there's nothing better than the bachelor life. You live as you want, do what you want, free to go everywhere. Is it bad to be single? Yes, it's a quite difficult situation. Your grandfather is very stubborn. We know him well. Yeah. First of all, I, I don't even have a girlfriend. You know that. I don't think about marriage. I have to graduate from university, get a job. Moreover, family is serious. Everything will be all right. Look at me. I got married as a student. I have a good job. Everything will be in time. Zangar, don't give us your advice. We know how you got married. Guys, thanks for your advice. Yet, grandfather's word is my command. Yes, I see. We need a plan that won't harm anyone. And so that your grandfather won't bother you for a long time. On the sin. Do you even understand what you're talking about? But where can I find her? I promised grandfather that I'd get married soon. But I can't keep my promise. Yeah. It's a problem. You don't have to find her. Yeah. Don't even try. Let's tell your grandfather that. No, no, are you trying it again, huh? Okay, say it. plan is very dangerous. Grandfather may not like it. Ansar, grandfather is looking for a bride because of your lack of will. If you were a bit more organized, it would be completely different. You don't like our proposal, moreover, you don't offer anything. What should we do? We're your friends. We want to help you. We're not against you. We can't solve anything. Ansar, I'm telling you again. It depends on you. It's time to take a decision. If you insist on this decision, then I agree with you. Ansar, you don't have to agree. It's just a joke. Well, at least he will calm down a bit. Guys, enough persuading. I told you that I agree. That's all. We made our decision. Let's have a drink. <laughs>
Good evening. Well, hello again. We began to meet often these days. Yeah, you're right. Did you meet with friends here? Yes, we're planning one thing here. By the way, I'm Ansar. Omarov Ansar. Nice to meet you. I'm Sulu. Nice to meet you too. Do you come here often? No, I came here for the first time. Actually, I don't really like nightclubs. I came here with guests from Liberia. Ah, oh, I suppose you work there? Yep. I'm an interpreter for the Embassy of Liberia. I see. I'm sorry. I have to go. We met near the restroom. It's kind of strange. No. Yes. I'm sorry. Maybe it's fate. Excuse me? I mean, goodbye. See you soon. Very good. Flirting with the girl right next to the restroom. Ansar. No, we've just met. I saw her at the university some time ago. Her eyes, she's beautiful, just like her name. Yes, that's great. Our Ansar fell in love at last. No, stop talking nonsense. Huh? Fell in love, you say, disco dancer? Let's go dancing. Let's go. Now I'm busy with Ansar's issue. Damitken, I can't come right now. I'll call you later. I will call you later. What's the matter? Oh, it's my Damitkin. Buy this, buy that. Who are you with? Where are you? What are you doing? She makes me crazy. Uh, it's clear. Maybe I should feel sorry for you? You're joking. But... We'll see what kind of wife you will have. Look, which one do you like more? Honestly, I don't like it at all. Let's stop it. Don't worry. We have a good plan. What plan are you talking about? My friend, don't worry. Everything will be the same as I planned. Well, guys, we found a girl and talked to her. Now there is no way back. Hopefully, in a day or two, we'll go to the village. You have to get out of work and study, and you don't forget to ask permission from your wife, Zangar. Hey, I'm not a child to ask to leave. I decide everything on my own. Yes, of course. We know what kind of husband you are. Okay, just turn off your mobile phone. Otherwise, your wife will call. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go. Can I help you? Yes, please do. Who's the receiver? My wife, I have to leave for a while. I see. And for how long? It's important where, with whom, and for how many days I'm gone. Of course. The more you're gone, the more flowers you should give. It's also important the purpose of my trip. Of course. If you're going on business trip, then asters. If friends, then roses. If for other reasons, 
you can give cheap flowers. And if there are important issues, then... Okay. Give me the cheap ones, please. Where are my kids? Father! Father is here! Oh, hi, my darlings. Here. Share with each other. So, and what are we celebrating? I just bought you flowers. Are you kidding me? Two flowers? Two carnations? Do you know what people give two flowers for? Of course I know. Who told you that? The seller told me to give the flowers in accordance with the quantity of absent days. So here's one, two. Okay. Two flowers. Okay. Carnations. But why are they artificial? Well, they stand longer. Besides, I am only gone for two days. It's for you. Fine. You won't go anywhere. Let's have dinner. I'm gonna go anyway. What'd you say? I'm coming. Hey, be careful. Good job. Oh, such a good boy. Let's deal with the carpets. Put them right here. Good. Here, take it home. Hey, Sayan, come to me after. What are you waiting for? Pour some more tea. Well, tell me, how did you persuade Damitkin? Well, what do you mean? She let me go as usual. I'm the man of the house. Let me go. Stop it. All right, I got it. Got it. Hello, Muktibek. Hello. My name is Muktibai. Grandfather, you forgot my name again. Well, today I can. I'm very happy. I'm a lucky man. My Ansar said that he'll bring a beautiful bride from Almaty. Now, Muktibek, I count on you. I chose you among many masters of ceremonies. There will be no strangers, only relatives. But try to do your best. Thank you. Shall I open the bride's face? Of course you shall. Thank you, Grandpa. My congratulations. So I want to start with the words, the tree spreads its branches, the children grew up, and today there is a great joy in Grandfather Tylock's family. And I plan to open the bride's face as follows. <laughs> Grandfather, Grandfather, great news. The bride has come. Oh, thank you. It's for you. Is the bride coming? Yeah. 
A gift to the bride. Grandfather, how much will you pay me? Oh, let's do it first. I'd agree even for a small goat. The bride is coming. The bride is coming. The bride is here. Grandpa, I will do my best, but will you pay me well? It's always not enough. Are you guys ready? Well, let's sing Jar Jar. Everyone to sing along with me. Don't be shy. Come along. Let's sing. I shot at long last we see the bride. This joyful day has come. Happy to see you, Grandpa. Welcome. Hello, how was your trip? Welcome. Nothing is too good for Ansar. I will prepare everything by myself. I'll do my best. I'll kill all the cattle, but we'll have the wedding. Aisha also wore her most elegant dress. She's looking forward to seeing the bride. Everyone is shy when they get married. It's okay. We have been waiting for this day for too long. Where's the bride? Great. Hearts of the newlyweds is reunited. The dream of the parents came true. There is a great event in the family of Grandfather Tai Lok. Our congratulations. Let's applaud. Grandpa, let me begin the ceremony. Yes, I approve. Let's sing. With God's blessing, let's open the bride's face. Bring her from Africa? Oh my gosh. Hey, cover her face. It's a shame. Cover the face. I open the face of the bride, but I can't cover it. Oh my gosh. Hey, why are you laughing? Oh, grandfather feels bad. Hey, where are you going? Let's go. Grandfather feels bad. Let's go. Call a doctor. Hold him. Oh, goodbye. Where are you? Come here. Grandpa, what happened? Call the doctor. Where are you? Come here. Brother, what happened? Sit down. Here's some water. Grandpa. Grandpa. Grandpa, it's me. Ansar. Mary, what can be done? It's better she won't come. Open your eyes. Drink some water. Oh, she speaks our language. Don't let her come. Please, enough. Let her go. Oh, my God. Let our grandfather recover. At least pay me, and then you can die. How are you feeling? I didn't even understand a thing. It's okay. Takia, I need to take a look of what's happening outside. Yes, go of course. All right. Grandson, I don't understand. Aren't you even embarrassed in front of relatives and villagers? 
Grandpa, I made a big mistake. I'm young and my friends played a bad joke. Grandson, please remember my words. I have ten children, but you mean much more to me. I rely upon you very much, my dear. You should continue the family name, so respect your elders. Your grandmother, follow her advice. Be happy, my dear. My answer, my lion, be happy, my dear. Grandpa, forgive me, please. Dalanın atalar Şanırak ki yesi türümde Törüdey türdegi atadan Barılığı basıyı batallar Ata Tele geyteniz akılı Ata Tup tunuk duran akılı Tau yelim de Gün boyu Ösiyet önege Karyan Kazınan üdüge Ter tutar Ülge alıp nemere Hello. Hello. Does Sulu Sidikovo work in this office? Yes. What's the matter? Where can I find her? What do you want from her? We've met a while ago. She told me she works here. I just wanted to see her and say hi. Got it. Came here to say hello, right? Hey, brother. Sulu is my girlfriend. Listen to me carefully. If I see you next to her, I'll show you. Do you understand? After that, crack your ribs. Clear? It's clear. I'm not chasing her. We're just friends. Nevertheless, remember this. Thank you for coming. Bye. Hey, leave the flowers if you don't need them. What'd you say? I said to leave the flowers. All right. Take them. Now go. Go.
Hey, where are you going? I'm going to lunch. What's the matter? Mm, nothing. Bought flowers for you. Flowers? For me? Thank you. No problem. Stick. Do you know for how long I haven't been drinking? Since birth? Almost guessed. Let's drink. Wait, that's enough. Put it down. Something happened to Ansar. We need to talk to him. On thus. Let's not bother him. Let him decide. And besides, after that incident, I think it's enough. Tinishtik, you're not a good friend. Well, on thus, I'm not like you. I'm, I'm just Tinish Tik, but you're on Das. It hurts to look at Ansar. My heart aches. You know how much I love him. Or do you doubt that he's like a brother to me? No, I don't think so. Here you go. For Ansar. For him. <laughs> Look at Sangar. His kids are noisy. Always restless. He's dependent on his wife. He's at work and home from dawn till dusk. And still, there is no wealth at home. There isn't enough money. There's no time for friends. Ugh. Is it a happy life? No, it isn't. That's life. Is true. True. For example, is there someone who is waiting for you at home? No. No one is waiting for me, too. You know, I live like. like some tenant. Like a tourist. Do you understand? No. Actually, it's nice to have a family. For family. Let's have a drink. One more. Here you go. Thank you, Aisha. It's stuffy outside. Let's go inside. 
Get some rest. What happened to you? You're anxious. If Ansar can't find a bride himself, maybe we can help him find one. If you think so, then go ahead and find a bride. No. We should go to the city together. It's better if I stay home. Besides, I don't feel well. <coughs> Aisha, what's the matter? Let's go inside and get some rest. Give me that. I'll take it. Let's go. Years tear along. I'm with you, Almaty. I'm ready to carry my joy forever. And in the heart, there is always a crazy tune. A great tune, a tune of my youth. Oh, Grandfather, where are you going? To the subway. I'll take you for 2,000 tingit. Hey, I can go around the whole city for 2,000. Where is the subway? Well, then there. Somewhere and then there. And in my heart, there is always a crazy tune. A great tune, a tune of my youth. Taxi, taxi, taxi. Sarka 
almas do manada. Yesimde almatana, nur tolgan kemerine, gül jasıl jelegede, aportan tügüp turgan, alma gaştire. Hello? Anyone there? Open the door, please. For God's sake, it doesn't work. Kind of stuck here. Hello. Good day. Where are you going? I need to get to the fourth floor. Press the button, but it doesn't work. Let's go. Let's take the elevator. Thank you. Sister, I found a good girl for your son. Yeah, yeah. Really? Her father's name is Baojan, and her grandfather used to be a boss. Her father's name is Baojan, do you remember? Baojan? Yeah, yeah. Her grandfather used to be a boss, and his son's name is Baojan. Oh, but I don't like their daughter-in-law. They say you have to look at the girl's mother before you marry. Seems like Grandpa came. He never rings the doorbell. Just knocks. <laughs> Grandfather, hello, come in. How was your trip? Hello. Yes, I wandered a little, but thank God I found my way home. Welcome, Tyluck. Come in. Hello. Hello, sit. Hello. Yes, come. Oh, our grandfather has come. He will show us. Oh, hello. Welcome, father. I was already scared that you were lost, but you found the way home. You see, I told you that our grandpa wouldn't get lost. Look, who will say that my grandfather isn't Morden? Sure, sure, daughter. God willing, our grandfather will be modern for a hundred more years. Yeah, yeah. My dear brother, how are you? Is everything okay? I missed you so much. How is our village? Is everything good? Look, Nartai gathered all of us here for your arrival. How is Aisha doing? Everything is fine. But I believed he'll meet me. Nartai was right to have gathered all of you. I wanted to give him a beating. But I immediately calmed down as I saw you. Such a father like you can't have a bad son. You know how it is in the city. Traffic, errands, no time for anything. The streets are wide and almighty, but there are even more cars. We don't have such fuss and bustle in our village. We manage everything in time. Thank you. Maybe I got married late because of my hesitancy and discretion. That's why I was nicknamed an angel wearing a tubiteka. 
In our time, all people were as pure as angels. Yeah. There used to be good times, the time of youth. We couldn't stop looking at the mountains of Almaty. And you, you took Aisha to the village, while young people from the villages looked for brides in the city of Almaty. Grandfather, judging by your unexpected arrival, you have some urgent issues. Or did you just miss Ansar? <laughs> oh, that joker has come to the village and told me he'll marry, but he dishonored us in front of other people. And I decided to find him a bride myself. And don't worry, I will. Do you want to repeat the story of our mother, like the way she found a bride for you? <laughs> Hello, everyone. The dear son of Tai Lux has come. Hello, grandfather. Hi, grandson. Take that seat. Come here. Sit down close to your grandfather. How tall you are. And now I would like to tell you that I brought a Tibetika with me. So sacred. Give me my bag, please. It's, it's in that bag. Take it. This is a sacred Tibeteka. It has special properties. Bachelor guys get married once they put it on. Ansar, I'll find you a wife. Otherwise, you will be alone. Therefore, I want you to wear it in front of everyone. Wear it and don't take it off. Wow. Whoa, that's great. It's beautiful. Amazing. Excellent. Our late mother gave Tailak this Tubiteka for his birthday as the head of our family. Tailak, do you remember that birthday?
this and I'm tired of saying this. Don't bother her. I didn't understand. Can you explain? She doesn't want to meet with you. Is it not clear? Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. What about you? I'm fine. I came here to see you. Excuse me, it's time to go. Sorry. I need to go. All right. Bye. See ya. Yes. Hope so. I told you not to bother her. What is the reason? She is almost a bride. She'll be married by her parents. She's getting married? Yeah. Well, what did you want to say to me? Grandpa, you can congratulate me. I'm being transferred to Astana. I'm leaving in the morning. What does it mean? Who will you marry then? To tell you the truth, I'm tired, Grandpa. Please give me the opportunity to make my own decision. I'll decide whether to marry or not. One step at a time. Listen, grandson. I love you very much. I'm sorry, I don't tell you that often. Please don't say anything. Grandfather, I'm losing my mind. I said that I'm leaving tomorrow, I'll do it. Nobody can stop me. Sumin Kosta Su Bergele Bergete Jalhanda Wimmer Digin Bellen Numen Basco Su Sagnumen Kausula Armanda Wimmer Digin Kesde Sumin Kosta Su Kesde Sude Saganas Pinemet Bar Wimmer Digin Kesde Sumin Kosta Su Yes, 
Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. We found out that Grandfather Tylock had come, so we wanted to greet him. He's in the Where room. is he? Hello, Grandfather. How are you? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Come in. Please don't be shy. Rawan, pour the guest tea, please. Okay, Grandpa. Grandfather, we've come to ask your blessing. Nobody blesses without a gift. How are things in the village? We plan to go there again. We missed the village. Yes, of course. Any other man would drive us out for the incident which we made last time. But Grandfather showed such nobility and hospitality and forgave us. But you also showed your good manners and came to pay respect to the elders. Nowadays, it is difficult to find young people aware of this. We came here to correct our mistake. We want to help you. It's good that you decide to find a bride for Ansar. You know him well. He finds different reasons not to marry. His thesis, he doesn't have time. I have to marry him as soon as possible. Can I count on you? Of course. But you've made a lot of blunders last time. Grandpa, don't worry. We have an excellent plan. We came to discuss it with you. Well, that's right. I've looked through the newspapers. It turns out that there are many places where you can meet a girl. I want to go there. <laughs> well, Grandfather, and what are the requirements for your future daughter-in-law? Let's make a list. We'll find him a bride on these grounds. Yes. What if Ansar won't like our choice? He is picky. You are right. Nevertheless, let's try. All right, let's try. Write down on the sin. Rawan, give the paper, please. Coming. Drink your tea, it's getting cold. Write down, write down. Tell us the requirements. The first. The first. <laughs> My name is Camilla. Let me ask you a question. Sure. I have lots of time. Are you married? Do you want to get married? I'm not married. But I would like to know who I'm getting married to. I'm looking for a bride. Grandpa, what about you? Do you want to get married? Thanks, daughter. I have urgent business. I have to go. Where are you going? Grandpa, let's talk. No, 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 thank you. No, no, I, I have to go. Grandpa, think about it.
Hello, my name is Alila. Take a seat, please. Actually, I'm on a diet, but we can order something. Order anything you want. Waiter. Please. Can I have the horse meat platter? Okay. Nijni salad? A trout? And this one. Anything else? I'll order again. This. And this. Okay. Leave it here. As you wish. That girl. Let her order anything she wants. I'll pay for it all. Excuse me. Why don't you eat? It's delicious. Actually, I'm on a strict diet, but there's so much tasty food here, I want it all. And now, look at this girl. Her hair is long, she dances, sings, so beautiful. Look at the next girl. Her hair is long, she's as tall as you are, a model. She cooks well. You'll have a bunch of great-grandchildren. And the face of the next girl shines like the sun. Let's conclude. Which one do you like? Of course. They are beautiful in the photos. But I want to see them in person and talk to them because sometimes they're angels in the photos and worse than a witch in real life. The face is beautiful, but there's nothing inside. So that's it. Take your time. My sir, my friend, we'll bring the girls and take a look. We have other girls. Look at them. Maybe you'll like others. I said it's not necessary. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm off. Listen to me. Please wait, wait for a while. My partner is coming. like you said. 
Okay, good. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Angel TV and me, your favorite, Akilbek Awiz Khan Aybekovic. Ladies and gentlemen, today we would like to know how our citizens spend their summer vacation. So let's get started. Stay tuned. Hello. Hi. Tell us, how did you spend your summer holidays? Very good. In the near future, I plan to go to Turkey. That's my holiday. Good, have a good trip. And here comes lovebirds. Hello, we would like to know, what are you going to do on your vacation? Tell us about it. Um, I couldn't go anywhere this year. And discounts will soon begin in Almaty. So I stayed in the city. Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Let's keep going. There's a grandfather resting on the bench. Let's talk to him. Maybe he has something to say. Let's listen to the wise man. Turn the camera here. Hello, grandfather. Today we are asking our citizens what they are going to do in the summer. What about you? Could you repeat, please? How do you spend your summer vacation? Ah, uh, yes. I'm looking for a bride for my grandson. I want him to marry quickly. Will Ansar see this? Of course, grandfather, he'll definitely see this. Then, let me say. Ansar, my grandson. Despite the fact that I have many children, you are the closest to me. I had great expectations for you. I cared of you since you were a child. I held your hands when you made your first steps, protected you like the apple of my eye. I would be the happiest man in the world if I cared for my great-grandchildren. My dear grandson, according to the doctor, I have an incurable disease. My strength is lacking. I'm on my last legs. So I'd like to get you married as soon as possible. I bless you. Be happy, my grandson. May good fortune be with you. Are there any tickets? There are no tickets for today. All tickets are sold. What about tomorrow? Let me see. The day after tomorrow at 5.45 a.m. Do you want it? Listen, I have to go right now. Can you help me? Nope. Sorry. Thank you. Taxi, taxi, taxi. Do you want me to give you the change? How much does it cost to go to Almaty? I need to go quick. Where?
Hey, what's going on here? What's wrong with you? Are these devices more valuable for you than life? You forgot everything in the world. At least look at each other, talk to each other. Hey, I'm not a stranger here. Come on, collect all these devices. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Let's sit and talk like a family. Take them all away. Commander, mission accomplished. Donna, I'd like to see you in my office. Tai Lakomarov's lab results were mixed up. Be quick, please. Yes, good afternoon. Good. Grandpa's home. Hold on, please. Grandpa, you have a phone call. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. How am I? Yes, yes. So, so. He decided to leave. He will move to Astana or another city. I don't know what's on his mind. It's inconvenient. I don't know them at all. Second Lieutenant Zhuldibayev. Hello. Listen, sir, I, I must quickly take this guy to... What happened to him? Is he giving birth? Why are you speeding? It's a road, not a runway. Show me your documents. I always drive this way. Oh, sorry. Please try to understand. Did you watch recently on TV? Old man Tai Lak said that he wants his grandson to get married. Of course I saw it. So this guy is the grandson of that old man. What? Ah, I have to take him to his grandfather as soon as possible. Is that him? Of course. We'll take you quickly. Hello. Hello. Let's just take a picture for memory. Of course. Like that. One more. Grandfather, we are very glad to see you. It's a great honor for our family to see you here, to have such a respected person. Here is my family. Hello. Welcome. My wife and two sons. My eldest daughter is at work now. She will soon come. Ansar, how are you? Are you coming? Ansar, I brought your grandfather somewhere. No, no, everything is all right. I think that your grandfather is going to get you married. 
Write down the address. Wow. Thanks to your grandfather, the police are escorting us. Yes. So, is the meat ready? It'll be ready in 10 minutes. Hurry up. All right. Ah, uh, the meat is ready. Grandpa, take the ram's head. Give me a dish. Put it here. Talgad, help yourself. Go ahead. A prayer. May Allah help us. Let all of us and our children be safe and sound. Hello. Ah, this is my daughter. Where are you, Ansar? Where is my grandpa? He's in the house. Everything is all right. Ansar! Ansar! Grandpa! Grandpa, forgive me. I was wrong. I didn't know that you were sick. What's the matter? I'm still alive. Guess it isn't the right time to ask for money. Okay. Grandpa, you are a real angel. Why are you standing here? Come into the house. Hello. Let's go in. Hello. Hello, my dear. Hi. Welcome. Let's go. Grandson. Where is he? Here you go. Help yourselves. Oh, here he is. Hello. It's very good to see you all. Very good. <laughs> Grandpa, should I sing that song? Of course, darling. Sing, sing. I will bring a beautiful bride from Almaty. Well done. 
Talk of this naughty boy could get married tomorrow. He is quick. Everyone who wears this Tibeteca gets married. Allow. Son, this is Tylock's holy hat. That's right, Grandfather. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. 